an AAX video on Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash. Bitcoin allows for the transfer of value between various parties. Unlike the current mainstream payment systems currently in place around the world, Bitcoin was not created by a business or financial institution. Bitcoin does not require a bank, government or corporation in order to operate. Bitcoin highly relies on those using the network in order to function. As a population, we have become over-reliant on the current financial institutions in place. Bitcoin is the alternative, with many who support Bitcoin believing that the breakdown or restructure of the current financial system is inevitable. Reasons for this belief, such as that global debt is unsustainable, that in the long term negative interest rates will have a harmful economic impact. Countries are continuing to see currencies fail through astronomical inflation. Here is a list of countries who are currently seeing destructive inflation rates. Keynesian economics do not encourage long-term sustainability. Finally, the move away from the gold standard and the introduction of quantitative easing. Bitcoin was created in 2008 by Satoshi Nakamoto. We do not know who Satoshi is. He went dark in 2011 and stated that he had moved on to other things. Satoshi Nakamoto and his anonymous creation of Bitcoin has led to the development of a completely new industry, the cryptocurrency blockchain industry, pushing the boundaries of what is technologically and socially possible. Bitcoin was created through cryptography and is the most secure payments network in the world. When Bitcoin was created, it solved the problem seen with previous digital currencies. In the 1990s, we saw a digital currency boom. Many private companies created their own digital currency in an attempt to revolutionize worldwide payments. All of these digital currencies failed. The main reason behind this was due to the centralization of the projects. These digital currencies used centralized systems. The servers were centralized. This placed too much power in the hands of the company which created a digital currency. This meant that there was still trust needed for transactions to take place. Previous digital currencies were also vulnerable to hacking. This was seen with flaws. The digital currencies of the 90s needed to be centralized in order to ensure that double spending did not occur on the network. If the companies were decentralized without the plow of blockchain, it would allow for malicious users on the network to double spend. Double spending was the main hurdle of digital currencies before Bitcoin. This was due to the currency having a digital file. This digital file could then be duplicated and used multiple times. This therefore meant that previous digital currencies could not reuse coins. A massive database was also required in order to record all transactions taking place on the network, needing to be centralised to prevent attacks on the network, therefore leading to the centralization problems. The resolution to the problem seen with previous digital currencies is blockchain technology. Bitcoin applies blockchain technology through a proof-of-work system, creating an immutable decentralised ledger. Bitcoin removes the trust previously required with old digital currencies and allows for worldwide scalability. The Bitcoin Mechanics Bitcoin uses proof-of-work as its consensus algorithm. This consensus algorithm allows all of the machines on the network to agree on what is true and false, preventing double spending. Bitcoin's consensus algorithm proof-of-work is decentralised. This allows the machines running the Bitcoin network to communicate from all around the world, with no single entity needed to maintain the network. Bitcoin miners. Bitcoin miners are people who use their computing power to support the Bitcoin network. From them using their computing power, and most importantly, paying for this for electricity, they are rewarded in Bitcoin. When miners mine Bitcoin, they mine Bitcoin in blocks. A block takes 10 minutes to mine. Each block currently has a reward of 6.25 Bitcoin, with the rewards halving every four years. The most recent halving happened to Bitcoin in May 2020, with the next set to occur in March 2024. 
Due to the huge computing power needed to mine a Bitcoin block, miners team up in the form of mining pools. In a mining pool, when the miners' miners are collective, each miner is awarded the percentage of the block which they help to mine. Mining is completed through a process called hashing. Hashing is where mathematical formulas are attempted by machines until a solution is found for the data. The computing power used for the hashing then creates a secure network. This secures the network because as long as those supporting the network collectively have more CPU than the attacker, they will remain in charge. However, if the attackers have more, they have the ability to prevent transactions from taking place and double spending coins. When this happens, it is called a 51% attack. Transparency. Bitcoin's blockchain is transparent. Every single Bitcoin transaction which has taken place on the network is stored on the Bitcoin blockchain. That means, if you want to, you could find out every transaction which took place in March 2012, for example. Through Bitcoin being transparent, it allows us to see the entire history of Bitcoin. This creates a level of traceability. Due to the Bitcoin mechanics, if someone wanted to taint this transparency and alter the blockchain, a 51% attack would be needed. With electricity usage correlating with CPU and Bitcoin using the same amount of electricity as Switzerland, we know for certain that the transactions which we are looking at have not been falsified. When using Bitcoin, you determine the level of privacy which you wish to have. With traditional payment processes, your identity is not separate from your payment. Instead, your identity is linked to the payment with the transaction being handled by a trusted third party. The problem with this is that you are trusting these third parties with your personal private information. This problem was seen in 2019 when Capital One was hacked, with the hackers obtaining the personal information of 100 million users. Bitcoin was created so that we don't need to rely on third parties to secure our information. Instead, we are in charge of our own finances and we are in charge of our own privacy. The way in which we manage this privacy is through address management. The scalability of Bitcoin. Scalability is the ability for something to increase and decrease in size. Bitcoin scalability is very poor. The cryptocurrency can only pump through around four transactions per second. With millions using the Bitcoin network on a daily basis, this is problematic. Users report that it has taken them hours to complete transactions, some even reporting of waiting multiple days for transactions to be completed. In comparison to Bitcoin, Visa has a transactions per second of 1,700. This is one of the reasons why Bitcoin has become a store of value similar to gold, rather than as an everyday currency. The hard fork Litecoin has attempted to resolve this to increase the scalability of the Bitcoin blockchain although its TPS is still extremely slow in comparison to other cryptocurrencies. A cryptocurrency with a great TPS is XRP at 1,500. As we can see here, Bitcoin is not the only major cryptocurrency which struggles with scalability. However, the release of Ethereum 2.0 with sharding is expected to improve scalability, although from my sources, Ethereum 2.0 is far away from reality. Bitcoin has attempted to increase its scalability transactions per second through the Bitcoin Lightning Network. Bitcoin is slow due to Satoshi Nakamoto implementing a block size limit in 2011 in order to increase the security of the network. Do you feel ready to invest in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies? Well, a brilliant way to do this is through the AAX Tribe, an awesome affiliation scheme which AAX have recently released. The AAX Tribe allows you to receive commissions from traders who join the AAX exchange through you. When they trade, you earn. AAX offers an extremely competitive referral scheme, with you earning 40% from your tribe members' trades. This is 40% from the trading fees they will accumulate when trading with the AAX exchange. After earning your 40%, the earnings then go even further, with you gaining an extra 10% from second-level affiliates meaning as your network of traders using the AX platform expands, so does your tribe as well as your commissions. So when you sign up for the AX tribe, you'll be given a referral link and a referral code. For example, here are my tribal codes. If someone opens up an account with AX and inputs these codes, they will become a part of your tribe. Although, what is in it for the user signing up with these codes? 
they will receive 10% off futures contracts. Everyone who joins using a code will receive 10% off futures contracts for three months. They will also have the ability to refer people to your tribe, allowing them to gain commissions and do second level commissions. Everybody wins. Thank you for watching this video. Place your trade on the AX exchange.